All right, I'm going to share with you an incident that took place uh, yesterday. Okay, now I guess uh, being a father, I'm having a lot of fatherly content. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll tell you. Um, what happened was uh, uh, I take my daughter whenever I go out, uh, like if I go to the convenience store or if I go to a restaurant, my regular hangout joint, or if I go to buy anything and I know my daughter will enjoy the experience, I take her with me. So I'll not state uh, the exact place, but this is an outlet, a restaurant that I go kind of frequently. Okay. I, I have certain restaurants like if I order sushi, it's from one place. Customized sushi. If I order Indian food, it's from one place. If I order Thai food, it's from one place. So... Um, there are regular joints that I go to where I know what I can expect. So what happened was um, um, my daughter knows this place and uh, in this place there are uh, they because families come they tend to have a lot of toys over there and my daughter likes you know she is a small little child she loves to play with toys. So we went there and uh, she was very excited got down my daughter got down from the scooter and she ran to the play area. Now, the owners of that place, including uh, some other people, the staff, you know, they have their children. And, uh, you know, people have their toys and, uh, you know, the owner would obviously have slightly more expensive toys. Okay. So, uh, you know, my daughter went to play. I sat down with my phone. I placed my order. And my daughter was you know, checking with all the, the bucket of toys and all that. And lo and behold, uh, she took a liking to a certain toy. You, you know, the, the toy that I'm talking about is, it's like, you know, plastic with slides and all that. And you have cars which move, they, like, you know, penguins, they go up the stairs and then it comes down like, you know, a ball. So kind of a toy like that. But there you had a certain bit of manual operation with cars she had to small toy cars with wheels you move this car goes here then you move this car goes there and then it goes up automatically with a battery operated and then comes down so she has taken a fascination for this toy now apparently this toy was i think the owner's kids uh, uh toy okay he he, uh, he has quite a number of them um so my daughter has been playing with that toy and it was maybe a brand new toy because the box was also there. So this time when she came, uh, she, I did not know this. My wife told me later. She kind of developed a kind of liking for this particular toy, even though there were many other toys. So as usual, uh, when she ran there, she was searching for this toy. She was searching where it was. And uh, there was just the empty box. Normally it is kept with the box. So there was an empty box. And uh, my daughter, you know, she speaks Thai flu fluently, but her English, uh, I'm still working on it. Um, so she asked the staff, most of them who are Thai and English speaking, where is this toy? And I... I didn't pay attention because, you know, I thought she was playing. And so I was checking the phone messages and chatting with the customer. When she, I noticed that she was running one side, then she was running another side. I was kind of wondering, like, well, what is she doing? Because there were not many children. She was alone. So then finally she came running to me and she showed me the box, the empty box. And with a broken English, uh, Daddy, where, where toy, where is this and something? She was muttering and blabbering and then she was speaking in Thai. So I kind of understood that she was asking, where is this toy? And uh, I looked up and I saw the staff, the staff who were, you know, lower position people. Uh, they're not the owners. So they were laughing. They were enjoying. They were all sitting around on near a table and they were enjoying. So... Uh, I was wondering why, why are they laughing? What is going on? You know, just trying to process. And then it kind of made sense because my daughter went back and this particular guy, he pointed at a particular direction, toy is there. And my daughter went running to one direction and I suddenly understood what was happening. And I didn't like it. 
what actually i don't know if it made sense to you what actually happened is my daughter innocently asked the staff like there's not many people there's nobody was there they're just sitting down so where is this toy and this guy at the expense of my daughter's innocence was telling her the toy is there it was a false statement it was lies the toy was not there but he was telling her it is there and my poor daughter thinking that this guy is telling the truth because obviously a child believes in adult she ran the direction where he pointed and she would look up and down and you know on the table on the floor everywhere and say there 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 and she would search there only to realize it's not there and she would come running back to him and he, then he would say there the opposite direction and for some reason they all found it funny i don't know if it is funny to play with a child's trust i wouldn't do that with any child let alone my child i didn't find it one bit funny especially because it was my child and i would never do it to anyone's child but they found it funny so my daughter went the other direction and immediately i understood what's going on so i said helen come here helen come here and they were laughing and they kind of saw my face and they kind of realized oh okay he doesn't find it funny so i just looked at them and i asked him what is the toy there yes or no no then he just said no 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 we are just playing i said this is not playing all right you're not playing with my daughter in this way mind you huh? okay so if you is it there i asked him is it there yes or no and then suddenly they stop laughing no 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 we are just joking please we are sorry i ignored what he had to say the sorry part i told my daughter come come here and my daughter came and she was confused and she was still showing the box innocently papa where toy where toy i said toy is not here okay it is not there he, he say oh he say there he say he said no 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 it's not there and then i asked him is the toy here or no he said uh, it's not there uh, it's kept somewhere maybe maybe i was assuming maybe the owner's son or owner's whatever or them they didn't they were not comfortable with other people playing with a child's toy which is perfectly understood because if let's say my daughter has a particular toy and she is fond of it i would not feel happy someone else playing it or breaking it which is totally fine i'm i'm totally okay with that but playing with my daughter's trust and laughing at my daughter's innocence at her expense is not something i found acceptable that also by an adult a grown ass man who's as old as me a group of people enjoying at her expense so what i did is my poor daughter was not aware of what is going on so immediately because the box was there i i tried to get the name i couldn't get the name so i was searching on google just to show my daughter what it was and i went to shopee which is the normal site uh, like ebay amazon local or thailand and i showed her ones that were even far more expensive than that one but my daughter has this particular habit if she likes a particular toy she doesn't care even if you give her the most expensive she wants that toy even if it's the cheapest one she doesn't want anything grand or expensive she just wants that toy and that experience so i was like oh bloody hell now how the hell am i going to get this particular toy and then lo and behold i was like oh she she has a box i can check the brand name so i checked the brand name and i got the one that she was searching for i'll give you the exact name one second uh i purchased it by the way um i'm just checking the brand name i'll give you what it is the name of the particular toy is uh the brand name is uh, one 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 minute uh it's in thai it's all in thai it's a battery operated uh, e he he what is the name one second e e m i t e m i that's a brand name t e m i and um uh, you know it's um it has all these moving cars and all let, let me try to get an english one google translate one second you will translate and uh, okay it's t m i car toy 
What's that noise? What is that noise? I heard some noise. Oh, it's from the ceiling. I think there are rats. You can hear big noise upstairs. Anyway, I'll check it out later. Upstairs, above my roof, it's like a false ceiling. You know, like, I think there is a big rat up there. Anyway, I'll check it out later. Okay, so what I was saying was Timi Car Toy. Okay, T-E-M-I, Timi Car Toy. I don't know if you can Google search this. Would you get it? Yeah. So T-E-M-I, Timi Kids Race Toy Cars. Okay, so it's nothing expensive, although there are expensive ones. Uh, there are like it can go up to uh, 2000 baht or 5000 baht. The one that she wanted was hardly 200 baht. Now, here's a funny thing. I showed her the expensive ones, the very expensive ones. She refused. She said, I don't want this. So then I was like, uh, okay, what do you want? She wanted that particular brand, that particular color, everything specific. So finally, after searching, searching, I finally managed to get the exact replica. And I said, this one, yay, I want this. So she didn't want expensive. She wanted the cheapest one, the one that she wanted. And so I decided I'm going to buy this so she doesn't have to depend on anyone. And then uh, obviously, you know, they felt uncomfortable because they realized they were joking and the joke was no longer funny. So they came, ah, so how are you, sir? And they try to be a little polite and all that. So... Um, and they said, we are sorry, we were just playing around. I said, uh, I told him, uh, I told him on the face, I don't accept the apology because uh, you don't enjoy or have fun at a child's expense. It's not acceptable. Okay. But I said, I'm not angry with you. I just don't accept what you've done. Uh, please don't do it again. And uh, don't do it for any child. Okay. And I said, it's over. It's done. Let's forget it. We are okay. Because I didn't want to drag the issue. But then I let them, then he asked, oh, what, are you buying it? You don't need to buy it, sir. We can give. I said, not required. I can afford this small little toy for my daughter. I can afford 10 of them. That's not, I'm not trying to show off, but I can afford it. This toy belongs to that boy and it's rightfully his. Let him enjoy this. Maybe my daughter will break. It's not good. We can afford it. It's not a very expensive toy. My daughter will play. And I told him, I'm not upset with you. Uh, let my daughter play with something else. So I kind of saved face. I didn't want him to feel embarrassed. And my daughter, rightfully, because she knew that that toy was not there, explained to her, she was okay playing with something else. And that is one good quality I like about my kid. She is not uh, afraid to play with some other toy. Okay. Now, why am I sharing this with you? One is... I, for lack of a better word, it's so cheap when someone who's an adult, someone who's grown up, behaves in this manner. I really do not like it when grown-ass people, grown-ass men and women, take advantage of the innocence of a child. Whether it's my child or anyone, yes, it did feel bad it was my child, but if it would be any other child, you don't take advantage of the innocence. You don't play around with the child's innocence. The child is trusting you. The child believes you. And you are like, you know, for lack of a better word, you're exploiting the vulnerable, the genuine, honest, you know, that innocent heart that the child has. Like, my child actually believed when the person, it's there. And my child went running there. And it was not there. Down, down. She's looking down. Then up, up. She's looking up. Then she said, oh, not there. It's there. And my child went running. The opposite direction. My child kept running, you know, back and forth. Like, what are you doing, man? And how do you find this funny? For me, it was not acceptable at all. It was not acceptable at all that they were enjoying at the expense of a child. And that too, my mind. So... When he came home, um, you know, obviously my, my daughter doesn't keep anything in the heart. But she did tell my wifey, oh, Papa is going to buy me a toy and all that. And she was wondering why did I suddenly buy, you know, because she has toys. And I explained to her what happened. My wife was also pretty upset. But I told her I don't need to be angry with them. It happened, it happened. 
uh, they I guess they are, they don't have the maturity, the common sense, for lack of a better term. And I said, just forget it. Don't take it to heart. But we will get something for the daughter. Something really big up there, man. Too much of noise. I have to send someone up there to check what is going on. Anyway, I'll check it up. It's too much of like moving. The last thing I need is some creature or a gecko falling from up to down. Anyway, so this is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know your thoughts because, you know, sometimes adults, when they behave like, like pieces of shit, for lack of a better word, I mean, there's something seriously wrong with grown-ass human beings, you know, sometimes. Anyway, this was an incident. And as a father, I don't appreciate anyone treating my daughter this way. But having said that, it could have been anyone else's child. I still wouldn't have appreciated it. Anyway, let me know what are your thoughts because I found this of very poor taste. And yeah, uh, I told my wife anytime. Ah, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. My wife told me later on that she used to always want to go to this place to play with this toy. She always wanted. I told her, why didn't you tell me that she wanted this toy? She said, no, I already bought her. I didn't want her. I said, next time. Make sure you tell me because I don't want my daughter yearning for someone else's toy when we can afford it. Okay? I don't want my child feeling incomplete. I don't want my child feeling someone else has a better. It's not that I'm going to pamper her and buy her whatever she wants because my wife was worried. No, no. She can ask. I said, I'm not going to buy her everything she wants. But when it comes to something that means a lot to her, I don't want her making someone else feel uncomfortable, we can communicate to her and give her something that is in balance. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You agree, disagree? And have you been through such an experience? Have you met some individuals like this? And what would you have done if you witnessed, say, not just your own child? I'm pretty sure if it was your child, you would definitely take action. What if you saw someone else doing it with someone else's kid? Okay, not their own, someone else's kid. How do you react? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would definitely read them. And uh, having said that, uh, yeah, waiting for my daughter's toy to come. And then she'll be happy. Good, bad, ugly, feel free. Comment down below. This is me signing off. You guys take care.